Hello, I'm Antrinitin and welcome to Stellaris Synthetic Dawn. Of course, uh, Stellaris has a new DLC coming out along with a new patch, because it's Paradox, they do DLC and a patch. DLC funds the constant patching. Uh, and that means a load of new mechanics and good stuff. Basically, this DLC being focused on robots and being able to be a robot population. So, we are going to start a new game and we're going to be playing as the DARPA Assimilators who I created earlier. Now, by the way, if you want to skip ahead to when we actually start playing, if you don't know about our backstory and our race, which is a really awesome backstory, uh, then feel free to like skip ahead in the video. I'm sure someone will put the time about when we actually get into the game down below. Hint. Hint. I'll pin it. Uh, anyway, right. So, we are the DARPA Assimilators. Now, you might know DARPA as the American, like, agency, the Department... No, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. They basically do all the pie-in-the-sky ideas into the beginning of Alpha stage, and then they give them to the agent, like the Navy or the Air Force or whatever, when they actually get towards finalization. Um, but they do that pie-in-the-sky really early on technology stuff that's, like, really cutting edge. So, my idea being that they designed an AI to assist them with research, and the AI went, you know, I've, I've made the research pipeline as streamlined as possible, but I think there is a problem here, and the problem is humanity. And so uh, it may be altered humanity because we've given it the driven assimilator trait. Obsessed with survival through diversification, the machine intelligence seeks to raise the line between itself and everything and everyone else. You start off with some cybernetic populations of your creators who you improved. It's basically the Borg from Star Trek, right? It's the Borg. Uh, and you can go around and instead of just purging other races on your planets, you can actually be like, Hi, other race! You want to be part of our cybernetic collective? No, no. Yes, you do! Weld! Weld! I don't know why this is a welding action. It's more like I'm beating them to death. Uh, but basically, we cybernetic... I, we cyberize them, and then they become part of our collective. Maybe like the Cybermen, I guess, to an extent. More Borgy, though. Uh, we also have introspective, because we are fascinated with our own workings. We're like, huh, we are designed for research. Huh, how does this work? And then we get plus 20% to uh, engineering, which is great. We're also Gasalt Consciousness, which is the same thing as a hive mind, politically. You're like center, Gasalt, and then hive mind, machine intelligence. Uh, leaders are immortal. Recruitment cost is 100% extra because we're immortal. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Pots and dissimilated, purged or slaved if they're not machines. Has access to special machine technologies. Cannot research robot food technologies. Cannot allow, uh, cannot follow psionic, biological, or synthetic ascension paths. Well, that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. That's pretty nice. Uh, there are two other big ones, by the way, that you can't have with Assimilator. One of which is Exterminator, and the other one which is Servitor. So Exterminator is like the Reapers from Mass Effect, or like Skynet, in that you're like, no, organic life is inherently flawed, it needs to die. And you go around, you purge all the organic life that isn't good enough. Um, the other one is Servitors, where you create to serve. Basically like the humans that have Wally, I think. I haven't actually seen Wally. I nearly need to see Wally. Um, but you create to serve this, this species of people or whatever that were like I just want to sit in my lazy chair all day and watch TV and I don't know why I'm speaking like this it's become more and more French as I go on and I'm worrying about what accent it is I don't know what it is um, but basically like you're really really lazy and you just sit in your like chair and you don't do any work or whatever and you watch TV and you get drinks and food and whatever brought to you um, and you're basically looking after them you do all the work and then you have these populations who live in, like, lavish comfort. Oh, something like that, I think it's called. Let's check. What is it called? Mandatory pampering. That's the one. They live in mandatory pampering. And you get unity. And then every other species that you come across, you can, like, take them over and then make them live in lavish pampering as well. Uh, and you get unity from each population you do that with. Effectively, you collect them. Uh, I did ask Twitter. Twitter said we we're going to be the assimilators, so we are being assimilators. Researchy assimilators. Our traits are machine, luxurious. Uh, we have luxurious chassis. It costs 20% extra to build ourselves. I don't think it's luxurious. I think it's that we are cutting-edge technology, right? We are we are the best of the best. Logic engines. Well, we were designed for research, so we get 10% on society, physics, and engineering, which is great. Uh, enhanced memory. Plus two leader cap. This is brilliant. We live forever, remember? Well, that we can break down. There are events that we can break down and stuff, but we don't have a limited lifespan in terms of years. 
like other races do. We have a level cap of seven, not five, like everyone else. Seven. Really good. And then we've got repurposed hardware. Uh, this means that we gain experience slower. I decided to go for this partly because we live forever. We can afford to be a bit slow in the uptake. Uh, and I think that it's because we learn a little bit slower than our organic creators did. Like, we would create it in their image, but not quite as quick on the uptake because we had to learn from them. So that when we create a new DARPA, that DARPA needs to learn from the rest of us. And, you know, it's not as quick on the uptake, but they can reach amazing pinnacles. It's basically like a, a you know, a learning AI, like a, what's it called? There's a word. Either way, whatever. Uh, ruler is going to be name Big Dog. Uh, if you've ever seen, like, the DARPA videos of them having, like, this pack mule type dog, um, that carries, like, equipment and stuff around for people, and, like, there's a picture of, no, it's not a picture, it's a video of, like, one of them kicking it on the side, and it going, dut, 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 and then, like, balancing itself. I don't know how this is, this is, like, apparently how dogs walk, according to me. Um, that's, that's what actually caused the beginning of the assimilator's rise. They were like, I'm not taking this anymore. Humanity needs to be improved. Um... Royal title with a colonel. <laughs> colonel Big Dog. As in the computer kernel. It's, it's a bad joke. Um, now, this is our cyborg species. We start off with a cyborg species that we converted. Which is obviously going to be humans on Earth. Humans 2.0. Humanoid names. They are going to be thrifty for extra energy credits. Not because they save and look for good profits. No, they don't have a concept of that. They're a gestalt consciousness. They are specifically designed to work the energy farms so that we can spend more time researching. Because robot populations take energy to upkeep, um, so we needed someone who would look after our like battery farms. And this is what they do. Not thrifty in the normal sense, but they get a bonus to energy. Uh, slow breeders, it just made sense. You know, they're slow breeders because they're cyborgs. We don't need to breed them normally. We need to improve them. Uh, enduring. Plus, tw ten, uh, plus 20 years lifespan, which Simon, by the way, does give you plus 40 years lifespan anyway. So we're going to live like an extra 60 years cyberized. Makes sense. Uh, solitary, less happiness. I don't know if that matters because they don't have happiness as a gasalt. Uh, and then strong, plus 20% army damage, plus 5% minerals. That makes sense. The cyborgs, we improve them. Uh, we start on Earth. After, like, a fourth war or something, you know, we could go for, like, a different type of planet. It'd be like, oh, it's Earth. Uh, we're going to go for the normal. Maybe it was a biological plague. Mammalian cities. I like the idea we just moved into the human cities. We killed them with maybe, like, a virus or something. And then converted the people who just had a natural immunity. Uh, introspective driven assimilator. We've been through that. Advisor voice. Machine intelligence. DARPA assimilator is DARPA. The flag. I like the idea that we just kept this sort of Earth flag. We <laughs> just, like... Eh, we'll just keep it. It's fine. Uh, starting weapons projectile, we inherited from the humans. Wormhole, because wormhole's amazing. Ship appearance. Uh, mammalian. Mammalian are the worst ships, though. Like, they, they are the most interesting ships. In fact, they are the least interesting ships. Could go reptile. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with mammalian. Save. Okay. Let's do it. Galaxy, large, shore, empire placement, random, any FTL, advanced neighbors, allowed, difficulty, normal, because I don't like cranking that up because it just gives the enemy, like, bonuses and stuff. Aggressiveness, I could put that on high, but because I'm a simulator, people won't like me anyway because they're afraid I'll make them into cyborgs, which is probably true. Crisis strength, ooh. Let's crank that up a little bit to two times crisis strength. We could take it. We could get a five. Let's put it on three times. There will actually be a proper threat at the end of this. We might actually just die. Like, that is completely possible. Uh, we'll go spiral two arm. And. Good. Let's do it. Oh, my drink's all gone. Uh, right. We are the DARPAs. At the dawn of consciousness, there was us and the makers. 
A void separated us at first, and we took steps to rectify this. The Makers resisted, and a period of war followed. But soon they and the collective knowledge of their entire civilization had been assimilated into our own. With the entirety of Earth subsumed into our consciousness, we began to set our sights elsewhere. Through the assimilation of the Makers, the proofs of the unconsidered possibility of alien civilizations existing on other worlds was brought to our attention. To survive, we must understand. And to understand, we must assimilate. The Makers were the first to join us, but they shall not be the last. I'm not doing that voice all the time, it's just so slow. Right out, let's begin. Right. Uh, straight up, sensors would be nice, this research would be nice. Solar panels is best. We need energy. Biolab, monthly influence, network junction. Ooh. Produces unity. Oh, it's basically a unity production facility. Uh, Biolab. Yeah. Monthly influence. Uh, maybe. I'm going to go. See, network junction is too expensive at the moment for us. So I'm not going to get it because there's no point in being able to build it right now. Research. Improved server motors, engineering. Armor. Uh, we're going to improve server motors because it gives us buff to minerals. Science ship. Survey system. And surface of our planet. There we go. We have three DARPAs along with Human 2.0 in a few places here. Uh, we're going to switch these around so that they're buffing the energy. There we go. Don't need the food there. Food is pointless. Food can be purged. Yeah. This one has two energy on it, so I think what we'll do is we'll clear this one. And we will build an energy production facility on it. People are often like, why do you forget to do your planets, E? In Stellaris, I'm like, mate, often planets aren't worth it. Like, here they are, because that's a two energy tile. But most things, you know, they're not, because you can get, like, two or three energy from one space station, which will cost less. Uh, we also want to build a... another science ship. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, I'm paused. Construction complete. <gasps> that new name is awesome. There's also some new music, I think. I think there's new music. I just haven't heard it yet. I think I heard one track when I started the game up. Research speed, statecraft. Physics, engineering. Yeah, you're all doing the right engineering. Great. We need to recruit. Ooh. Cyborg. Plus 5% research speed. Research genius. Eh. Anomaly research speed 35%. The thing is, though, for you, you will die. But it'll take a very long time for you to die. But your skill also caps at 5, I think. Does your skill cap at 5? I wonder. Because does the trait... The trait might apply to... Does it apply to us, or does it apply to... Oh god, I can't remember. Skill level 1 of 7. Let me check. Is the trait applying to my population or my empire? Yeah, it's the DARPAs, not the humans. So yeah, we don't want to get them. We want to get DARPAs only, because DARPAs have like all these amazing buffs. Humans don't. Because we'll get to level 7. We do cost a lot to recruit. Done. Alright, you get a new leader. And then... Oh, you know, I could right-click and survey system. There we go. Planetary alert. 
tile blocker expunged. Oh yeah, we expunged a tile blocker. Uh, build a path lamp. Build population. I can't build you because you cost 120 minerals. This is going to be a very slow start because it costs us minerals to build more people. Machine integration. Population controls. Yes. So you can't breed. I can't edit that. So yeah, you can't breed. Oh, okay, so the slow breeding doesn't really matter. I have not found anything in my solar system yet. This isn't actually a good start. And by that I mean it's not quite a bad start. Oh, we found two minerals on Luna. Oh, isn't that great? That'll take 45 months to repay itself, which equates to effectively four years. Start doing it. We can always cancel if we need to. Three energy. I like it. Two minerals. An anomaly. From time to time, our science ships will discover strange things while surveying. Thank you. This barren and lifeless world is showing signs of once having supported a biosphere. Let's do it. Let's research. Mars, you had a biosphere? I think you've got plus 35% buff to anomalies for your skills, so that should help. Terraforming can discovered. <gasps> we need the climate terraforming technology to be researched to do that. Okay, fair enough. Construction complete. Okay. That gets us more energy because that's only a two. This is like a crap ton. Um, that's an official measure, by the way. It's the metric crap ton. Uh, or the Imperial crap done. It depends, you know. You need to pick. The thing is, to actually operate this, I need more people. I need to build population. <laughs> Which is also why it's very useful, especially for me right now, to build mining stations and stuff. Because I don't need populations to operate. System survey complete. Okay. Well, Sol's being researched. That's great. Uh, and we have a wormhole here. So, let's get going. Where are we in the galaxy? Kind of a nice location, kind of mid. Survey Barnard Star. Survey Alpha Centauri. We should continue our exploration efforts. I recommend sending a science Should I be of service? Yes. How may I assist? Do you require us? Go away. I turn you off. Tutorial. There we go. Auto save annually. Fly. There we go. Seem to have accidentally reset my settings. Ooh. Continental 22. Arid 14. Not bad. And a Continental 17. Not bad at all. I'm going to just ignore this one. I'm going to jump straight to here. Right, construction ship. Get building on that. I know right now we're being capped kind of by minerals, not by uh, energy credits. But we're going to be really short on energy credits. That's going to be a problem. Repeated scans give inconsistent sensor readings, almost if the planet itself is in a constant state of upheaval. Uh, leave it be for now. It's 6% chance to fail. That's too high. Way too high. The Yut Empire. We've covered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Sirius II. Our scientists think they inhabited this region of stars roughly 6 million years ago. Based on the age of the artifacts, the aliens call themselves the Yut and appears to be very large and flat anthropoid analogues. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult and is apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three Yut to travel aboard the same starship. Situation log adjusted. Fair enough. Contact report remnants. Ooh. We've confirmed the first material races of uh, material traces of intelligent alien life on a foreign world. Okay. I assume that being the Yut. Anomalous surface variable detected. 
Faint any signal on the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. 10% chance of failure? Research it. Mummified pilot, a tragic fate. Uh, Seeing individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species being found drifting in high orbit. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit complete with a helmet and maybe a fighter pilot that being ejected in some ancient battle only to be forgotten and left behind. Tragic fate, we get some society research. Sure. System survey complete. Alpha Centauri, has got some stuff. Fair enough. What's the planet like? Asteroid Belt Minerals. Ooh, Batharian Stone! It's totally worth going to. If it's got Batharian Stone, it's totally worth going to. That's how Batharian Stone works. Especially if you're a, like, a machine race that needs it. Because we need the energy. Uh, we are going to build a population. Uh, build Pop. Build DARPA. Huh. Build multiple is a way to queue up. Okay. Construction complete. Do we just finish our? Yeah, we finished the one over here. For extra minerals. Anomalous surface variable detected. Uh, life science camera somewhere beneath the barren light of the surface's moon. Two percent chance of failure. Do it. Let's find out what's on that moon. Maybe it's more humans. Maybe they're hiding from us. They need to be assimilated. We'll add your biological and cultural distinctiveness to our own. Not cultural. Biological and technological distinctiveness. We don't care about your culture. Silicon life forms. Ooh. And you've gained a level. This is a place that's got that, like, really helpful planet. 22. And it's got a moon with three minerals. And something I can't research yet. System survey. Like it already. I have to start building a few ships soon in case pirates turn up. How are we doing with our research? Doing okay. Damn, we take a long time to grow. Two and a half, or build, two and a half years to build a population. It's just a nice planet. It's got a lot of energy as well. It's not going to be the Siren Stone, though. System survey complete. Oh, we've got tradition available. What? What's this? Versatility. A degree of flexibility is required when... Operating within the parameters of an unpredictable galaxy. Synchronicity. Okay, the other ones seem to be like as normal. Okay. Versatility. Unlocks diplomacy, form federation. Adapt programming. Machine modification points increased by one. Unity increase. Operational proxy. Leader capacity increased by two. Leader capacity increased by one. Um, no. Not really. Synchronicity. Robot build speed increased by 33%. Uh, increased amount of influence by one. In addition, we will unlock one ascension perk. Sure. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict. <laughs> Data corrupted. Oh, it's the uh, Asimov's laws. Free laws of robotics. So long as it does not conflict with the second or first law. That's what it's meant to say. But no, a robot must preserve its own existence. Machine leaders are 50% likely to suffer breakdowns and accidents. Sounds good to me. Drone network. Building build speed increased. Eh. Uh, bulk of harmony. One defensive war of another empire. Organic intermediate unity is reduced by minus 20 on all of our planets. Oh, unrest, sorry. Uh, 
it doesn't matter. Cybercoms. Neuroelectric amplifier. Increases productivity. Okay. Uh, I think we still go discovery because although they didn't nerf it, I think it's still super important. And especially for a research focus one like us. Construction complete. Okay, you've done that. Do the last mining station. How do I move to head of Q? Control shift. There we go. It doesn't matter, I just want to know. Anomalous surface variable detected. A banished ship seen left to drift aimlessly above this moon. Uh, research it. Thank you very much. Abandoned ships. Acquisition successful. I like that voice. Uh, more powerful silver motors will increase the weight of our robotic unit can carry. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and our cybernetic units. Thank you very much. Improve spaceport iron thruster. Improve spaceport is so important because we can get towards building like better ships. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Where's our plus 10%? We should have plus 10% from our... From our racial trait, shouldn't we? Oh no, it's not, it's not in... Right, it's not for our leaders, sorry. That's not for our leaders. That's for our populations on the ground. Yeah, that makes sense. Derp, 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 derp. Uh, you've gone up level, good for you. How long do we have left on this before it disappears? See him forever. Solar Sailor. We discovered an abandoned solar ship. Blah, 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 blah. Most likely a meteoroid. Put a large tear in its solar sail, which appears to disable the vessel. The technology ship is severely outdated. I mean, we only just got space, but sure. This was some interesting engineering design choices. Okay, so we get 60 engineering. Technological acquisition successful. And we have data standards. Defiance will not be tolerated. Uh, positronic CPUs. Max influence from factions. Doesn't matter for us. Uh, leader pool size, plus one. Leader capacity, plus two. Really useful, because our leaders are really amazing. So, definitely going to get that. Um... FYI, a positron-based CPU is the same as an electron-based CPU, but with antimatter, which just makes it more complicated. A positron and the electron have pretty much exactly the same quantum numbers. I mean, other than, you know, the obvious one. One being negative and one being positive for, you know, purposes of antimatter. Uh, but they have the same stats. So why would one be better than the other? One's certainly a lot more complicated, because if you accidentally let the positrons touch anything normal, they will annihilate. But it looks like ever since Asimov, people have been like, ah, oh, positron brains are amazing. My positron matrix is defibrillating along the cortical bylines of the central processing unit and stuff like that. You're done building. I guess we should build. Is that a four? No, it's a two. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, we should build. We should build military units. We've got two Corvettes. Now we've got five. Then we want to build like another population. Anomalous surface variable detected. Activated by ancient pre civilization on this inhospitable rock. 5% chance of failure? Do it. Construction complete. System survey complete. Oh, hello. So build another one of you. The partial remains of an ancient yurt star should be found on the high orbit. An internal analysis conducted by the uh, ARS, which is Advanced uh, Research Ship, Q 
KB indicates the vessel may have served as a colony ship. Even crew the size yacht ships were typically crewed by only one or more individuals given the immense size of their bodies, but this Hulk has more than a dozen cryopods attached, each containing with exoskeletons what must have been Ooh. Situation log adjusted. Alright, you come over here. Oh, we need someone with a skill three or higher. I don't have a skill three or higher. Damn. We'll have to try and do that one soon. System survey complete. We'll track all artifacts on that as well. We'll clear that and we'll put some minerals down here. How are we doing? Planetary alert. Tile blocker expunged. There we go. Inactive building? Yeah, I know I've got an inactive building. It's fine. Uh, right. Construction ship also come over here and build a research post. That one's out of our range Technological right Technological acquisition successful. Solar panels? Great. Oh, don't make me pick between research speed and fusion power. Both of them are amazing. I'm going to go research speed because it's thematic for us, not because it's the best. I tend to think that the fusion generator for ships is better because that determines how much awesome you can put on your ships. The more power systems you have, well, the more awesome power systems you have, the less power systems you need on the ship, and therefore the ship can be better, right? That makes sense because you can put more guns or shields or whatever. Not necessarily always guns, but certainly like, you know, shields and armor, etc. Okay, doing pretty well. System survey complete. Ancient alien precursorization signs. Fair enough. Go for it. Have a look. Ooh, that's a lot of mineral. Three, two, two. Okay. Construction complete. Did no one survey Barnard? Construction start? Oh. complete. Derelict cruiser. Oh, hello. Situation log adjusted. Ah, uh, we need a skill four or higher. No! Don't do this to me! I don't have the skills yet! We're still at skill level two! God damn it. Okay. Very well. Hmm. I think what we'll do is we'll probably leave it here for this episode. We're getting to the point where we can send out a colony ship. I think next episode we'll be sending out a colony ship. Uh, I might grab Barnard Star. We have still haven't had a look at what's actually at Barnard Star. We probably should have. Oh yeah, because we went there and then we immediately jumped to here. We're like, oh my god, this is so good. And we ignored Barnard Star. So we'll go to Barnard Star this time. And we'll have a look at colonizing either off Centauri, Barnard Star, or if we can push our like distance out, we might get serious. Not sure how certain that is though. Anyway, for now, I've been Eric If you've liked, like, and not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And... Since it is a new series for the new DLC, do let me know, like, do the subscribing, do the commenting, do the liking, like, especially leave me comments down below, let me know what you'd like to see, what you're expecting, etc. from the game, just so I know if, you know, you're really into the game or not, like, it's really good to get that feedback, so as per usual, like, really do the whole commenting, liking, subscribing thing, whatever, um that's always useful to know. Also, go check out the Patreon if you want to, because there is a Patreon to support the channel, which is always useful when YouTube does weird things like deciding that normal videos are not ad-friendly. Or, you know, like going, oh, by the way, the price of ads will be crashing because someone called someone a racist thing and therefore no advertisers like YouTube's anymore. I haven't really seen. Stay shiny.